Darker here, and today we are going to be doing not only our first Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile, but also, as you can see in this, we're going to be sampling some, um, some deadly liquids. And I actually like spicy foods, so you're probably not going to get a reaction that is like I barf and have to eat like three spoonfuls of ice spoonfuls of ice cream I've I've had the hottest pepper in the world and so yeah I'm not like a huge heat wimp but these are all still gonna hurt and before I do this I'm gonna do a Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile so this is gonna be my Dark Magician deck and I um this is mainly a fun deck. It's playable, but it's not, like, the best deck ever. And I actually am not, like, the best Yu-Gi-Oh person ever. Like, I'm not... I've only gone to one tournament, but... Three Dark Magician. And Three Dark Magician Girl. Um, basically... What is that? That's a problem. Just ignore it. Basically, those are just kind of the core structures of this deck. And we also have three skilled Dark Magician. Th this is basically just a summon Dark Magician and 1,900 attack and 1,700 defense. That's amazing for a level 4. Especially because you can normal summon this. It's not even one of those that you have to special summon through some weird method. So, it's a good card and you can summon Dark Magician with it. So I have two Magician's Robe. This is beyond amazing. During your opponent's turn, you can discard a spell or trap card from your hand and special summon Dark Magician from your deck. And that's all I'm going to read because the rest of its effect isn't too relevant. Whoa. Haha. Ha. But yeah, it's just... It's broken. And it's going to get hit by the ban list soon, I bet. Also, since this is a Dark Magician... Not only is it a decent, like, competitive, it's actually not very competitive, but you can still take it to locals. We also have a kind of a magician's theme, so two each of the silent magicians. And actually, they're not bad cards either, so. And silent magician level 4 gives more level 4 support. We also have two Ghost Karen, the Underworld Boatman. I will explain this later. I know that's a really weird card to have. We mainly use it for a tuner, and since this is kind of more of a fun deck, I have my favorite card in here, and so I use this to summon it. Also, Dark Magician of Chaos. This is just good for the Dark Magician archetype. And we will be getting a bunch of support in the new movie set, which I have yet to get any good things out of it, but... There's going to be the Magician Girls, which just are amazing. They mostly help out, you know, Dark Magician Girl, but they can help with Dark Magician too. Also, one Dark the Hexfield Fusion. This is for... So, I'm just going to show you. There's a card called Dark Paladin that I have. It needs Buster Blader as its other fusion material, but the Dark allows you to summon a dark fusion type monster using substituting this as one of the fusion materials and it you s it says that you can fusion summon it so this acts like a free buster blader and polymerization for spells three magical dimension this is just good for if you have some weak spellcaster type like silent magician on the field you can tribute it and get out, like, Dark Magician or something. I don't know. But it's just a good card for the Dark Magician Dark Magician decks. Also, Diffusion Wave Motion. This is also really good for Dark Magician. So, why not play it? Also, two magic ma mag Magic Formula. Sorry, I can't talk here apparently. You can 
equip it to a Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl and gains 700 attack. That's and when it when it gets sent to the graveyard, you gain a thousand life points. That's really good. That means a Dark Magician Girl has 2,700 attack, which is pretty good. And Dark Magician has 3,200 attack, which is really good. Also, 2,000 knives. This is... It's a decent card. And I would actually maybe... So, before I show you the rest of my things, my spells, I have two Dark Hole and two Mystical Space Typhoon. Sometimes... I would maybe take out one Dark Hole and add another Thousand Knives, and then change this to a Regeki. Maybe I would keep this the same, and maybe I would change an, one of the Dark Hole to a Mystical Space Typhoon, and change the other one to a Regeki. It all depends on what thing you're playing. So I would recommend for your side deck, which I don't have a side deck for this deck, but include a Regeki and then one each of these. And we also have two dark magic attack. This is another one where you may also want to substitute a dark hole for. So maybe play one of these in your side deck too. If you control a dark magician, it's basically like a spell and trap for Geki. So that's good. And this card got limited, but we still have one. Um, Upstart Goblin. And then I also have... This card, it was my friend's. He gave it to me. This is like a $7 card. Went through his washing machine, though. So it has a big, like, spot right here that's just ripped out. But, I mean, at least I have the card. Um, Allure of Darkness. This is great for the Dark Magician and Dark World archetypes. Also, One Dark Magic Curtain. If you are in desperate need of a Dark Magician on the field, then amazing card. But otherwise, eh, it's pretty risky. Also for traps, two Dark Renewal, two Black Illusion. Um, this is just Dark Magician support. Pretty obvious. And then now for our extra deck. We have kind of a weird extra deck that you wouldn't normally see. So, I'm not going to explain much of it, but... Got a Giggle the Risen. Also went through my friend's washing machine. Evil Swarm Ouroboros. Utopia. Gaga Ga Cowboy. Stellar Knight. Deliros. Castell the Skyblaster Musketeer. Oh, and by the way, if I had not a uh, Dark Rebellion, um, XYZ Dragon, I would probably take this card out for it, but I do not, so... Castell the Skyblaster Musketeer. Constellar, Ptolemy, M7, 3, Ebon, Illusion, Magician, 1, um, Lancelot, Dark Knight of the Underworld, and then for our Synchros, this is what I was talking about with the Underworld Boatman, Old Entity, Hastor, you can use Underworld Boatman and Magician's Robe to summon it, Stardust, Charge Warrior, you can use Silent Magician Level 4 or Skilled Dark Magician, and Ghost Caron to summon that. And here is my combo to summon my favorite card ever, which is Dragocitos, the Corrupted Neversoul Dragon. And it's pretty complicated, actually. But this is, that's a devastating card, and if you summon it, it's pretty much over for your opponent. Okay. So, you're going to need a the Dark Hex and Dark Magician on the field. Then summon Dark Paladin. Now it's level 8 Fusion Monster. So when it gets destroyed, summon Ghost Caron. Use its effect. Banish these two. And you can summon a level 10 Dragon Synchro. Which, boom. That's how you get this card out. Now, I know it's hard to get out, but if you it's it's worth it when you get it out. And I've won many games just by doing that combo. And my friend almost always concedes the game. 
as soon as he sees me pull a um summon a ghost Caron while I have Dark Paladin in my graveyard, he basically just scoops. So that's an amazing card and amazing combo. Now Spoonful of Death. Okay, so this is one of the hottest peppers in the world. Shake it up. Now this is like very like that's good I'm actually scared of just this amount like that's how hot this is oh Ooh. this is like a bunch of stuff this is probably the hottest sauce I've ever had oh it's, cr it's crusty shit Sorry, pardon my language. Okay, this is ridiculous. Oh crap, that's too much. I'm not even kidding when I say that's a lot. And this is not that bad, but this isn't that bad. This is the least hot one, and it has a squeezy top, so that's great. The only one that I don't need to use in moderation is either use in moderation. Okay, I am scared. I'm going to mix this together with my finger. Oh, my God. On my finger. Oh, my God. Okay, um... Um... I've, I'm forgetting my outro. Oh, that's not that bad, actually. Um, okay. Whew. I'm gonna finish the spoon off. Oh, oh. Now it's getting to me. Okay, um, yay, water. Ugh. <coughs> Leave a like, subscribe, and if you want me to do more challenges and more <coughs> <coughs> sorry, more Yu-Gi-Oh deck profiles, um, just comment and like the video. I think if we get to, since I don't have very many fans right now, if we can get this video to 10 likes, I will do another challenge. Whew. And I will also do more Yu-Gi-Oh videos. And, um, yeah, leave a like, subscribe, keep on gaming.